in the last uh, five to ten years. Extreme heat waves almost every year now. And since uh, 2015, it's every year. And we have to get accustomed to this kind of phenomena uh, and they will be more and more frequent and more and more intense. We cannot hope this to go down. This will uh, go up and if, if we uh, don't do anything about climate change, about emissions, uh, these heat waves which today uh, have an amplitude of 42 degrees, they will have 3 degrees more in 2050. So that's going to make 45, roughly speaking. So um, what is a world with heat waves with 45 degrees? What becomes, uh, what, what will be the impacts on agriculture? What will be the impacts on water? Uh, this will put um, really uh, tension in society uh, that we may not be so well equipped to cope with. What is important in our findings is that uh, it's a type of event for which we can with um, quite a lot of certainty say that it would have an extremely small chance to occur without climate change. Extremely small. What the study does is that it says that it's man-made and uh, we are not facing a natural uh, event or a natural catastrophe. We are facing a human-made disaster. The temperature is completely linked to the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. And the amount of CO2 doesn't uh, decrease if we stop the emissions. It just stays constant. So um, we can um, stop uh, the, the progression, but we cannot reverse.